always like to ask the question, why should somebody follow you? Well, first of, first of all, you got to remember when you're doing anything, it's, it's, about, it's about habit forming, right? So a lot of people, like people aren't concerned with like following the best or, or like, you know, like, or, or um, trying to find something new. A lot of times people fall into habits. So if you can get people um, into the habit of clicking on your stuff, like just the habit, which is which is another reason why Billionaire Brown should be putting out shit all day because it's just it's just a habit to press play on it at that point, and then you love them, and then there's a there's like a level of 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 of, of, of affinity that goes with that, you know. So um, I would say like people follow me because I've been as long as like you know like they 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 know me at this point like this is like the like maybe 10 years deep, a lot of people have been following me strictly just off the internet, you know, um, follow you from one platform to the other. And then they're like, oh, I remember, I remember, like just the other day, like people always had, I just had somebody email me yesterday. Oh, um, this is the same demo that was on the Hot Import Nights tour a couple of years ago. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like they, like they remember and they, they jump from platforms and when they get to the next, whatever's coming after Facebook, they're going to still remember me because, you know, you, you, I'm, I'm you know, so like, what I'm saying is like I, I would focus on like making making people get into the habit of watching you, even if they don't like what you like what you do. It's just a habit you're dealing with. You know what I mean? Man, that's that's really big and that's a gem. I appreciate that, man. Where do we uh where where are you at on social media? Tell us any platforms that you're at and where can we find you and I'll make sure to put it in the show details also. True. Um uh well um on Facebook, you could just search Demic D E M I C. I have um, another page on Facebook, Jersey Demic. Um, they're both me. I release things from time to time, but you use, but really at this point, I'm using the pages are, are um, if you follow those pages, you're gonna get a lot of like um, gadgets and and uh, you know like Kickstarter projects and things like that, like things that I think that people want to see um, that are like amazing prop. Amazing products um, is what's going on there right now, and then you know, and then I drop my music on there. I'm actually gonna shoot a video while I'm here in London, so nice. I'm, I'll be releasing that next week. I got uh, my website, of course, jerseydemic.com. On Instagram, I'm, I'm King Demic. I mean, you know, anywhere you search Demic, anywhere you you are, I'm probably already there. Like, <laughs> um, this is this is like one more thing I wanted to say. Like people, yeah. a lot of times people like there's a so these platforms also reward you for being like the first the early adopters right so like the first group of people that sign up so even if you're not going to use a platform and i argue with companies about this shit all the time they're they're, they're like oh we shouldn't have google plus if we're not going to update it like yo it doesn't matter like like jay-z for instance he has twitter and he tweets like what once a year (laughs) And and then when he tweets it's a big deal but what you do is like you you create your facebook page you create your instagram page and have it as a place where the people who love you can 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 have could build a community, whether it's in the comments or or like or or with hashtags or whatever. And um and basically they can they can um they can be there even even when you're not updating it. Like you don't have to update something. If you, if you hear about some a new a new app tomorrow, just go create it. Leave it there. If you go to Vine, I got like ten thousand followers on Vine when it was like before they killed it. And um, and I never I never posted on Vine ever like one time I just created it because people go look for you like oh I wonder what's his page on Vine and then they f- follow you and I never and then the the thing is you 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 let that grow and then whenever you figure out what you want to do with Vine or whatever you want to do with whatever then then you have people there already instead of like going there figuring out what you want to do and then figuring out how to build an audience at the same time like that's crazy. Man, that is crazy. And I was a late bloomer with this whole social media thing. So I, I know I'm gonna gain a lot of uh, I gained a lot just in this interview here, man, if I could ever uh, be of any value to anything that you're working on, just please let us know. Thank you so much, Demick, uh, for being here on the coffee and business show. Uh, did you have anything else that you would like to maybe a special shout out to your fans or your uh, your, your viewers that follow you? Um, I'll shout out my daughter, Lil Rara. She deserves a shout out. That's what up, Lil it. Rara? <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, she 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 also has a page um, on Facebook. You look at Lil Rara. She's doing a lot of different little funny dance things on there. Um, um, she need to get connected with uh, Riley Curry then. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we coming for we coming for Raleigh and all that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like I said, like I just I made it, and and um, as soon as we figure out the best way to get her out there, um, she'll 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 be out there. But I want to say like. Um, the one thing um, for everybody listening, whatever you guys are going to work on, I don't know what the majority of work, the kind of work they do, but like and mostly so, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. Yeah. So when you're thinking like, so, so let's say you're an entrepreneur, right? It's like people who say like, you can't say like, I'm a businessman. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, okay, like what business, like what, what is, what business do you do? You know? So like, um, what you really want to concentrate on and the internet is very niche, it's very niche specific. So if you're reaching entrepreneurs and you want to get entrepreneurs under you um, or to follow you or to like, you know, build a community of entrepreneurs, you have to know what their desires are. So like um, the main thing is to know like, what do these people want from life or what, what do they want from somebody that they're going to follow? So if you're looking at people who um, want money, right? Then money has to be a major topic of conversation every single time. If maybe some people don't want money, maybe, their driver is um, freedom, like to be able. So, so, so then you could keep hitting them with, with travel. I'm in London. I'm in this. I'm in that. You know, and then, and then, and it draws those people in that that they're like, damn, I want to live like that. How do you do it? And then they're all heirs to you, as opposed to being like, um, um, you know, business or entrepreneur. It's like really vague, you know. So, um, so I would say like anybody listening, like figure out what niche, there's a million things you can do. You can, it's people that made tens of millions of dollars off of toilet paper. You know what I mean? So like nothing is too big or too small. You could try it, go in. And, um, the, and one thing I always say, like I said earlier, fail fast. I don't, don't sit there and create this whole grandiose old plan only to realize that when you try to implement the first step of that plan, there's some crazy shit that you didn't even know existed because you never actually did this shit before. You know what I mean? Like it's like you want to be a rapper, and then you and then you got this whole plan. I'm gonna do it, and then you get to the studio and you're like, damn, how do you press record? Right? So it's like just go write your rap first. Right? If if you knew somebody that wanted to be a rapper, you would ask them, yo, like, where's your songs? You're not gonna ask them where's their plan. Let me hear a song. Right? Let me hear a verse even. Right. But, 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 but what goes on in business is that you have people like that. They're like, Oh, I'm still working on a business plan. But it's like, if you want to do food, hit the corner with a cart or hit the fair, the festival with the cart. This is not beneath you. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, there's a reason like, you know, so hit the festival with the cart, pay the 150. See if you can get that money back before you go to a run to a bank and get a loan. That's craziness. Like go to the festival, see if you can get back 150 selling quesadillas. Maybe, maybe in the process you realize, oh, quesadillas it ain't it. Niggas just want tacos. Boom. All right. Now you go to, now you expand to 10 festivals, then you do 20, then you expand to a little shop downtown North or something. And then you say, okay, now I want to franchise it, but you can't be sitting in the house making a plan and feel accomplished when the plan is done. And now, now you feel accomplished and you ain't did shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's one thing I always see in that realm, which is why, like, I just want to say that before, um, you know. Man, that's what's up, man. There's, we have a, podcast inner success radio podcast and we had a guest on there and his name is matt Aitchison, and he's he validates and agrees with everything you just said man he said if your first version is your best version you mm-hmm. released it too late yeah yeah that's crazy man yeah, yeah, yeah. you it's just not- yo <laughs> if your first version, you gotta fail fast yeah, right? yeah. fail fast fast and often mm-hmm. all right so thank you so much again demick for being here on the show um, we will definitely follow and continue, uh, wish you much of continued success, bro. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of London out there. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And, um, you know, I wish you all the same, um, yeah, reach out to me. I'm, I'm always here.